Hey guys, and welcome to this video on heaps, more specifically on min or minimum heaps. So here we are given a min heap in green to the right here, and we want to delete the node that contains the value eight in our heap. And to the left in blue, I have the algorithm that we're gonna use to delete this node. So first thing we want to do is delete the node, which is the node that contains the value eight, then we want to replace the deleted node with the farthest right node. So that's the node that's furthest down and furthest to the right. So that's the node that contains the value four. So it's right there. And then we want to heapify or fix the heap. So first thing we're gonna do is check if the heap property holds true. And the heap property basically means that the value stored in each node is either greater than or equal to, or less than or equal to its children, depending if it is a max heap or a min heap. In this case, we have a min heap. Next, we're going to check if that's not true. Um, we're going to check if the replacement node's value is less than its parent's node value. If it is, then we're gonna swap them and repeat step three. And then last but not least, we are going to check if the replacement node is greater than or equal to its parent because it's not less than its parent and the heap property is not correct then we're going to swap the replacement node with the smallest child node of that heap and repeat step three. So that sounds like a handful, but it's really not that bad. So let's go ahead and erase this and start deleting the node that contains the value eight. So I'm gonna erase it here. Next, we want to replace the deleted node with the farthest right node. So that's the node that contains the value four. And I'm going to get rid of the node here because we're replacing it with uh, replacing eight with the node that contains the value four. All right, now we're going to check if the heap property is true. So is four less than its parent? And it is. And because it is, we need to swap these two nodes. So seven will be down here and four will be up here. And we're going to repeat step three and we check to see if the heap property is true. So let's check to see if four is uh, less than its parent and it's not, so that's good. And we're checking to see if four is um, less than its, ch its children. So that's the seven and the nine, and it is, so that's good. So this heap property still holds true. So we are done and that's basically it. So pretty simple. Um, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave any questions you have in the comments section. Don't forget to hit that like button and that subscribe button. If you found this video helpful, please share it. Maybe it'll be helpful for others. And if you wanna learn more about heaps, I've put some links in the description below. I have an article on men heaps specifically that you can read about and as always, guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.